I'm driving a Triumph TR4A. It was built in 1967, but it's been well looked after. It's had lots of loving attention to keep it running long beyond its expected life. And that's something it shares with my destination today, Oldbury Nuclear Power Station in Gloucestershire. Oldbury was the ninth nuclear power station in Britain, built to a unique homegrown design. It's one of the last of its type still to be working. Its operators are hoping they can keep it running for another three years, right up to its 40th birthday. Nice old car, Matthew, isn't it? Very well kept, sleek. Jim Duffy likes to see old cars still running, but not old nuclear reactors. The thing is, you can take it apart. You can go inside, you can replace cylinders, you can replace pistons. You can't do that with old power station. It's much too radioactive inside. What are your thoughts about the fact it's going to be going for another three years? Terrified, basically. We think this is an experiment. They're going into completely unknown territory with uncertain values. I can't say how anxious I am about this reactor reopening and going on till 2008. These pictures from Barclay Power Station show the reactor core as it was being built. The core consists of vertical columns built up from blocks of graphite machined to an accuracy of five thousandths of an inch. The problem is that these graphite blocks are damaged by the heat and radiation inside the reactor. At Oldbury, some of them have lost a third of their weight and inevitably some of their strength. Would you let an aeroplane fly if a third of its wing fabric had, had disappeared? Would you let a car run if a third of its brakes had been, become corroded? It would just be impossible, it wouldn't happen. And yet, here we have nuclear reactors, very short distance from big populations from Bristol, uh, allowed to run at that level. Inside Out has discovered that government nuclear scientists have shared at least some of Jim Duffy's concerns. So what's the problem? Now, we can't go inside the reactor at Oldbury. It's far too radioactive to take a look. So instead, I've very carefully constructed a model out of sugar lumps. The core's made up of thousands of blocks of graphite, and over time, as they're bombarded by heat and radiation, they lose their strength, a bit like sugar lumps when they become wet. At some point, sooner or later, they'll lose their strength completely and collapse. And that could have disastrous consequences for the reactor. Nuclear expert John Large believes the reactors at Oldbury are dangerously close to that point now. If the fuel jams and you can't shut down the reactor by the conventional control rod means, the fuel can then burn, that makes the fuel into very fine particles and the automatic dump valve vent the reactor and discharge a considerable amount of radioactivity in the form of a plume. That means that a large volume, a large number of members of the public unprotected have to either be evacuated or some countermeasures taken. And quite frankly, the speed of some of these reactor accident scenarios is such that you couldn't implement countermeasures quick enough to protect members of the public. Are you reassured by what you've read that this won't happen? No, I'm not reassured. The inspectorate says you don't really understand what's happening here. Evacuation and widespread contamination, a nightmare scenario. But could it really happen? I went to ask the government's own safety watchdogs. I, I think that the scenario that uh, John Large um, is presenting there 